I might have one of the more interesting videos that I've made in a while coming up. And that's because there's a product that I'm gonna review that's in alpha. I've never reviewed an alpha before. Many people referenced this in the comments below and said, hey, Dimitri, check it out. It's a Notion alternative. And I'm like, all right, cool. Let's check it out. So anytype.io is really cool looking from a website perspective, that's first and foremost. This application is in alpha and I am a part of that alpha. This is a application that claims it could be good for team spaces, personal, or even community. And it's got a similar notion aesthetic to it. You can do project and task management within here, even file management. There's no storage and upload limits. And there's actually an interesting side of this where it's encrypted with a key that you only have and that everything is locally stored. So they're making a lot of bold claims with this one. Privacy, local storage, never bugging, never, never down. Obviously there's gonna be bugs because it is a new application, but I'm gonna dive right into this alpha really quick. So they've made some quick updates. They actually just added Unsplash, which is pretty solid as that's something that a lot of people enjoy. If I go here really quickly, just showcase all these free features. If I make a new note here, I'm gonna open up a note and show you that it has a bunch of different choices for these objects. So there is like a space here that you have marked on functionality with, very similar to what you have in Notion. If I press backslash, it shows this as different titles, headings, subheadings, highlighted, check boxes. You can do file, picture, video, audio, PDF, code. I mean, th this thing's got a lot of functionality. So if I make it a set, is a collection of objects with equal types and relations. I can pick a source here, make it a, a note. So a set is essentially a database. I just made a database within a database. And as you can see, it has a similar situation to properties. So relations are properties within this application. You have the ability to do similar filtering with it having, you know, things like the name or other filters would be creation date, last modified date, or say I were to make a new relation here. I have a litany of options, which is pretty entertaining to me, just like how many different options you have for properties here. Let's just mess around with this application a little bit more by going in here and then looking at something like this. I made a object that was a task in here, so I can have this be make video then within this and the details by default this is sort of a template that was made i can have as can be seen i could have slash checkbox record video take thumbnail and do this kind of stuff now let's see if they have toggles they do have a toggle which is nice they have a ability to do and i was typing check in there i mean they have a lot of different things in here like i can do a slash and link to different objects already. Like I can link this to my notes, different people I can link it to different relations. This is ridiculous. What is this app slash goal? What is slash goal? Wait, so then I go back and then I can, oh my God, it like had the ability to make a slash markdown and then a template. This is like an example goal here. This, the, the prerequisites on this, like imagine if all the notion templates that existed just were by default, within your markdown functionality. You can press a backslash and make a template within a template. What is this? And then cool enough here, this is like your little history panel. You can set a favorites one. So if I wanted to take one of these and set it to favorites, I'd go to the top right and press add to favorites. And this app is crazy. And then if I go to my home page, we see there's me on the top right. I'm the human. I can open everything as a graph here and have a graph view similar to that of Obsidian, which is really cool. I'm a fan of all the different graph functionality in Obsidian. Wow, this is some, this is some cool stuff. It'd show links that I could have with other pages. I'm like genuinely blown away. So if I go back to my home here, I can set different favorites, have histories, see the different sets that I have. So for example, all these different note sets that are here, and I can obviously toggle between different columns showing property wise. Let's do a test really quick. And I would see all these different relations here. I could type descriptions out Can right click on this and duplicate. I can even add specific notes to my favorites here. So I added this test note to my favorites. And then in the settings section, you can change some personalization stuff like the appearance. I'm gonna change it to dark mode, which looks really cool. I have the ability to import and export. All your workspace data except columns and text color styling will be exported into Markdown, which is cool. I could import Markdown and CSV stuff from Notion. That's really cool. They know that they're trying to compete with Notion. And then cool enough, this whole system is sort of secured with a keychain phrase. So just diving into an example use case that they have for us, there is actually like the same 
views as Notion now with like the better databases with adding these different type of views here. Cause I, right here I can add a different view name and have it be, hey, let's do an example one so I can show you the different ones here. So if I right click on this, I can then change it between it. Oh wow, I can change it between a grid, which is like a table view in Notion, a gallery or a list view, which is like a list view in Notion. And then on the gallery view, I can change it so that there's a different size here. There's covers, so I can make the page cover show. So if I go here, I can add a cover, have the color be this, have the layout change. Oh wow, I can have a profile image for these. I can have an action for these so that like the main part of it is a checkbox. So that's where that all comes, layout wise. That's where all that comes with like those like pre-built task examples and stuff. So I can do basic here and that'd be like a basic page. So then now we can see change the size here to smaller. Can I move these around? I cannot move these around. I can just click on them. But this is some cool functionality here. I'm not going to complain at all about the different capabilities for such a new alpha application. This is kind of crazy. I know this is just me gushing over a new app and kind of messing around, but this is a cool application on the rise. So if you want to go check it out, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment down below. But also if you want to check out any of my other videos, on how to improve your productivity, click on this video. It's gonna help you be more productive than this one.